All right, ready to dive into something pretty cool. I'm ready. Let's hear it. Today, we're looking at emotional intelligence training modules. But, and here's the kicker. Uh, oh, there's a but. I'm intrigued. But they've got this futuristic twist. We're talking XR, extended we're, reality. XR, right? okay. Getting fancy. And these programs designed to help you level up, like in a video game, those essential soft skills, you know, empathy, communication, all that. Ah, uh, the stuff that can make or break you these days. I've got it. That's why this is so fascinating. Makes sense. So XR for soft skills, how's that work? Well, what's so cool is how these programs, especially the ones from Eon Reality. I heard of them, yeah. They're using this immersive tech to create a training ground hmm. for real world situations. But it's practical and almost like there's no consequences. You know? Oh, that's interesting. So no more messing up a real presentation before the big day. Exactly. It's not just reading about emotional intelligence. It's about experiencing it. Ah, uh, so I can't just cram the night before. Nope. Picture this. You step into a VR headset. Okay. I'm solemnly. Bam. You're face to face with like a super challenging coworker. Oh, I know the type. Or you're leading a team through this crazy tough project. Okay. So it's like a simulation. I get it. Yeah. But think about how VR can like transport you to these different worlds, right? Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's what's so cool about VR. Now imagine harnessing that power to actually refine your emotional responses. Whoa. Hold on. So I'm not just shooting zombies. I'm learning to deal with, like, my annoying coworker Gary. You got it. You try different approaches, but it's in this virtual world. So no real-world fallout. Exactly. It's a safe space to experiment. That's pretty smart, actually, because in real life, you don't always get a do-over. Exactly. And that's what makes those tough interpersonal moments less intimidating. Okay, so less stress when Gary tries to micromanage me. You can practice navigating conflict giving tough feedback, even celebrating successes. And all this in a controlled environment. I like it. But hold on, it gets even cooler. It analyzes your tone of voice, too. Wait, what? The tone of my voice? Yeah. It's like having this emotional coach, but they're in the virtual world. Okay, this is getting a little sci-fi now. Right. <laughs> it helps you fine-tune those little cues that we miss sometimes. I mean, I know I've messed up a few times because of my tone. It's pretty wild how AI can pick up on that and give you real-time feedback. Real-time. Wow. So like as I'm talking. Yep. This helps you see how your emotions come across to others, which is like key to better communication. Okay. Yeah, I see that. So it's not just what I say, it's how I say it. Precisely. Uh, and how you react in different situations. Gotcha. So like if I'm in a negotiation and I get flustered. The module might pick up on things like your heart rate, changes in your voice. And then what? It yells at me. Mm, no. It offers suggestions to help you stay calm and collected. So it's like a little virtual therapist too. Kind of. Okay, so we've got these super realistic scenarios in XR, AI's analyzing everything, but. There's gotta be a but. How does it actually help our EI long-term? What are the real benefits we see in our lives? Good question. I mean, it all sounds great, but does it translate to the real world? It does. Think about it this way. The more you practice these tough situations in the virtual world, mm -hmm. the more confident you'll be when you face them for real. So practice makes perfect, even for emotions. It's like building muscle memory, but for your emotional responses. Okay, that's a good analogy. And just like exercise improves your health, training your EI can lead to a more fulfilling life. I can see that. So it's good for your career, your relationships, everything. Exactly, which is huge E in today's world. Uh, Strong EI is so valuable. Yeah, no doubt. So. How about we break down these emotional intelligence training modules? What are the key parts? Let's do it. I'm super curious about those interactive scenarios you mentioned. Oh, yeah, those are cool. So they cover a bunch of everyday interactions, things you'd see at work, in your personal life, even just hanging out with friends. So like dealing with a difficult boss, disagreeing with a friend, maybe even giving a big presentation. You got it. And what's really neat is you can role play different perspectives. So I can see things from my boss's side. That's interesting. Exactly. So you might experience giving bad news, and then receiving it all in the same scenario. Wow, that's actually brilliant. It forces you to see how your actions impact others. Which is what empathy is all about, yeah, right? Yeah. And perspective taking, crucial for emotional intelligence. 
and I bet it makes those tough talks in real life way easier to handle. For sure. It takes the pressure off. Absolutely. And what's really cool is the system, it actually learns alongside you. It's called adaptive learning, and it's, well, it changes things. Adaptive learning. Okay, that sounds interesting. How does that work? Imagine the AI. It's like your own personal coach, right? It picks up on things. Like, let's say you're great with public speaking scenarios, no problem. Okay. But when it comes to conflict resolution, you clam up. Yeah, some people are like that. So it sees that, and then it tailors the scenarios, gives you you more practice on things you struggle with and it gets tougher as you go like levels in a game so it's not just random it figures out your strengths and weaknesses mm -hmm. then customizes the training exactly it's always evolving always pushing you a bit further to help you grow you know that's wild but okay what about someone like me not super tech savvy can I still do this? Oh, absolutely. That's one of the best parts. It's designed to be accessible. You can use VR headsets, sure. Okay, but I don't have one of those. No problem. Desktops work too, even mobile devices. So my phone could work for this. You got it. Whether you're a gamer or just checking emails, you can do this. That's great. It makes it seem less intimidating for sure. And it's all cloud-based, so updates happen automatically. You need a device and internet, that's it. Perfect. Okay, we've talked about how these modules can help our communication, relationships, how to handle stress. Right, a whole bunch of good stuff. But let's say I'm doing the training and I get stuck. Is there like a human element to this at all or is it just the AI? Great question. So the AI is there giving you feedback and guidance, but a lot of these programs, they also have human coaches or facilitators. You can connect with them if you need to. Oh, so it's not all robots. Not at all. It's like, think of them as mentors. They can give you that extra support, answer questions, things like that. That makes me feel better, honestly. <laughs> so it's high tech, but still with that human touch. Exactly. And these coaches, they help you take what you learn virtually and apply it in the real world, give you insights, strategies, even role playing, whatever you need to feel ready. Love it. It's not just about doing well in the simulation. It's about making those skills part of your life. Absolutely. And the potential impact of that, it's huge. We could be looking at a more empathetic, understanding, more successful world even. Okay, I'm sold. Let's shift gears a bit. Yeah. How are these modules being used out there? You mentioned Eon Reality before. Yeah, they're doing some really cool things with XR. One of their strengths is the variety. They've got scenarios for everyday stuff at work, but then they also have specialized training, healthcare, education, even first responders. So it's not just one size fits all. Nope. They're trying to make it work for everyone, mm. and their modules are really engaging, great visuals, realistic characters. They even use gamification to make it fun. Wait, gamification? Learning to be emotionally intelligent can be fun. Oh, for sure. And when you're having fun, you learn better, right? That's the magic of XR. It can take even tough topics and turn them into something you want to do. I like the sound of that. Now, all this is amazing, but there's got to be a downside, right? Mm. Too much tech can be a bad thing sometimes. That's a good point to raise. Like any tool, it can be misused. One concern is bias. You got to make sure the algorithms, the brains behind it all are fair. Right, because if the AI is trained on biased data, it'll just keep spreading those biases. Exactly. The developers, they need to be really careful about that, keep things inclusive, make sure everyone's treated fairly. And what about cost? We said it's available on different devices, but is it affordable? That's another big question. The cost of this tech, it has gone down, but it's still an investment, especially for smaller companies or individuals. So we need to figure out how to make this more affordable so anyone who needs it can get it. I agree. Maybe government help, partnerships, some creative solutions. It's important work making this tech available. Okay, so we've covered a lot. We've seen the potential of these enhanced emotional intelligence training modules. Yeah. But we also talked about the challenges. Right. It's about finding the right balance, being responsible, thinking about ethics, access, all that. And at the end of the day, tech is just a tool. We have to use it wisely to build a better world, one that's more empathetic, more understanding. Couldn't have said it better myself. Technology should help us be more human, not less. Well said. So we're wrapping up. But before we go, something to think about. What if you could step into this virtual world? Practice those tricky situations. Get feedback in real time. Like we've been talking about. Yeah. How do you think that would change things at work, at home, even how you see yourself? That's a big question. I mean, it really gets to the heart of it all, doesn't it? It does. Becoming more aware, more empathetic, like a better version of you. Exactly. It's like giving everyone a superpower, being able to understand your emotions, handle them, build better relationships. 
I mean, wouldn't that be amazing? For sure. And this is just the beginning. XR is going to keep evolving. We'll see even more ways to use it for emotional intelligence training. Definitely. It's pretty exciting to think about, honestly. It really is. Like, we're on the edge of something big, where empathy and understanding, that's just normal. And that's the future I want to be a part of. Me too. Thanks for taking this deep dive with us. Yeah. And a huge thank you to our expert for all the insights. Happy to be here. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep leveling up that emotional intelligence. We'll see you on the next deep dive.